Hi, welcome back to Review. In the opening scene of the film, the camera pans over New York City before moving through Coney Island and along a pier. Poseidon, the god of the sea, emerges from the water at Brighton Beach in the shape of a gigantic being that resembles a man. He walks along the pier whilst glancing at the curious fisherman before shrinking to human size and changing his clothing to fit in with modern fashion. When he gets to the Empire State Building's observation deck, he meets his brother Zeus, king of the Greek gods, who is also wearing a similar outfit. Zeus charges Percy Jackson, the demigod son of Poseidon, with stealing his master lightning bolt. Poseidon points out to Zeus that Percy doesn't know who he really is, but Zeus says that if the bolt isn't brought back to Mount Olympus by the summer solstice in two weeks, all the gods would go to war. The next scene is of Percy Jackson, a young adolescent, relaxing at the bottom of a pool. When he comes to the surface, his closest friend Grover informs him that he had been submerged for about seven minutes. Hardly possible for most people, Percy thinks little of it. Being underwater helps him clear his head and is one of the few places where he can think. Percy battles ADHD and dyslexia. On a school excursion to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, Percy is accosted by Electo, a fury disguised as his replacement English teacher Mrs. Dodds, who demands the lightning bolt. Electo is driven away with the aid of Percy's closest friend Grover Underwood and his Latin instructor Mr. Brunner. Mr. Brunner gives Percy a pen that he describes as a highly potent cosmic weapon and orders Grover to take Percy and his mother Sally to Camp Half-Blood on Long Island, a secret summer camp for demigod kids, leaving behind Sally's abusive husband and Percy's stepfather, Gabe Ugliano. There, the Minotaur attacks them and appears to kill Percy's mother. When Percy realizes that Mr. Brunner's pen is actually a magical sword, he uses it to defeat the Minotaur, who is then killed by its own horn. When Percy awakens three days later, he discovers that Mr. Brunner is the centaur Chiron and that he, Percy is the son of Poseidon, Grover is a satyr and Percy's protector. In addition to meeting Luke Castellan, son of Hermes, the leader of the camp, and Annabeth Chase, daughter of Athena, Percy begins to develop his latent demigod abilities, which include hydrokinesis and healing. In the next scene, we are introduced to Hades. Hades appears to Percy and tells him that the Minotaur took Sally to the Underworld in exchange for the lightning bolt. Percy embarks on his journey to the Underworld with Grover and Annabeth against Chiron's orders. Luke provides Percy a map that shows where three green pearls that belong to Hades' wife, Persephone, can be found. These pearls will let them leave the Underworld. Along with Luke's favorite shield, Luke also gives Percy a pair of flying Converse All Stars that Luke stole from Hermes. Percy is listed as missing in the meantime. With the aid of Grover and Annabeth, Percy is able to decapitate Medusa at a garden center in New Jersey and remove the first pearl from her corpse. Percy uses the shoes to get the second pearl out of the Athena statue's crown at the Nashville Parthenon, while Grover uses Medusa's skull to slay a hydra. The trio travels to the Lotus Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas in order to collect the third pearl, but after consuming lotus flowers, the effects of which lead them to lose sense of time, they forget their goal. After telepathically hearing Poseidon warn him not to continue eating flowers, Percy breaks out of the spell. Grover and Annabeth are released from the effects of the flowers by Percy, they find the last pearl in the casino and leave the hotel. Since they spent nearly a week in the casino, Annabeth thinks they only have one day left to stop the gods' war. They race to Hollywood after learning that the underworld is there. Once in Hollywood, Percy, Grover, and Annabeth use all three pearls to pass through the portal to the Underworld. In the Underworld, Hades discovers the lightning bolt buried inside Luke's shield, proving that Luke was the thief all along. When Hades attempts to kill the group, Persephone turns against him in retribution for locking her up and gives Percy the lightning bolt. Grover stays behind since they only have three pearls, and Percy, Annabeth, and Sally teleport to the Empire State Building, which serves as the entryway to Mount Olympus. Before they can get inside, though, Luke ambushes them and tells them that he stole the bolt that would destroy Mount Olympus and install the demigods as the new rulers of Western civilization. Percy beats Luke after a battle spanning Manhattan, 
gives Zeus the lightning bolt and makes up with his father. Following the reunion with Grover, Percy and Annabeth return to Camp Half-Blood to finish their training. This movie delivers an enjoyable adventure filled with mythological wonders, appealing to both book series fans and newcomers. However, it may not fully capture the depth and magic of its source material. Still, you should give it a watch. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe.